If you're into Gothic churches, then the Cologne Cathedral in Germany is the place to visit. Before I continue, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon. It really helps my channel a lot. Thanks guys. So let's continue. It is very easy to reach this cathedral, especially since it is situated at Cologne's main train station. Cologne Church is characterized by its northern and southern towers. As you can see, this church is really big. It's really a magnificent church to look at. And actually, at the moment, this is the tallest twin church in the world. It attracts many tourists every year, especially due to its design, its architecture, and its massive size. So for your next vacation, maybe this is the place to visit. I am now standing at the entrance and I really cannot wait to show you what's inside. This is one of the churches whose construction took so much time to build. It was constructed over many centuries. Construction started in 1248 and it was completed in 1880. Can you imagine that? How many centuries are those? Initially, the Cologne Cathedral was built to host the relics of the three wise men who were brought to Cologne from Milan after Milan was conquered. From the design, you can see its stained glass windows, spires, rib vaults and long pointed arches. And I must also say that it still hosts the shrine of the three wise men. If you want to take a step further and you have the zeal and the will for it, you can walk 533 steps to the top of the southern tower. There you can see the St. Peter bell, which by the way is the largest free swinging bell in the world. It also weighs 24 tons and tolls only on special occasions like New Year's Day or Christmas Day, but it is totally worth it. You can also take the spiral staircase to the southern tower and experience amazing views of the Rhine from about 100 meters above the ground. By the way, in the late 1800s, this church was the tallest in the world. This was before it was beaten by the Eiffel Tower and the Washington Monument. But I must say that it is still a very tall building. If you're in Germany, especially Cologne, you can see this building from very many locations. And what also makes it very interesting is the outside has this significant dark color. This dark color is a result of the reaction of sandstone and the sulfuric acid in rain. But that makes it stand out so much and it gives it that gothic nature as well. It's a nice church to visit. Over here you can light a candle, say a prayer, and you can also admire all these sculptures that are within the church. So if you're in Cologne, this is a place to visit. It doesn't take much time, also depending on what you want to do. You have a couple of options. You could either visit the ground floor. There's a lot to see there. There's a lot to experience there. You could also decide to go up the staircase and get to the top of the church. And from there, you can have a beautiful view of Cologne from 100 meters above the ground. So that's a good experience, right? It's also important to add that this cathedral was added to UNESCO's list of important sites to visit. I really like to visit places with this kind of architecture. First of all, you know, you can see how much detail and hard work they put into it and the end result is just amazing. And this is why I like to visit such kind of places. So if you're into that, this is one of the places that I would suggest for you to visit. You will enjoy it. You will have a different experience and it is a place to remember. This church has also gone through its own fair share of challenges, but it keeps standing. It's a testimony of the strength and the belief that the Christians had those days. It is said that in the past, there are other churches that have been built on the same exact location. The only difference is this particular church ended up being the biggest, the largest, and the last church to be built on this location up to this date. I can only imagine the amount of effort that was put into constructing this church, especially during those days. No wonder it took such a long time to be constructed. Also, if you're a spiritual person, this church could hold 
more significant value to you because the moment you enter the church you feel a certain kind of energy good energy it's also nice to note that the huge windows were built to make people feel closer to God closer to the heavens and also to bring in abundance of light I must say that I find that to be quite fascinating I hope that you enjoy this video if you have already visited this place I would love to hear your comments on the comment section below how were your experiences did you enjoy it here and for the people planning to visit I would love to hear your experiences after the visit thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time